and people succeed. Were you all originally from Detroit? Yes, we are. Now, a lot, I know you did. I'm, I'm, I'm asking the dumb. And I was going down together. <laughs> the Four Tops. Popular American vocal quartet from Detroit, the Four Tops need no introduction. They came, they saw, they conquered. They really helped define the city's Motown sound of the 1960s, the golden music era. From Baby I Need Your Loving and Ask the Lonely both released in 1964 to Reach Out I'll Be There released in 1966, they released hit after hit. They were too good. Their songs stand as a pinnacle for soul music, heartfelt, emotional, and pulling on the heartstrings. With this, news that they have sold over 50 million copies to date is no surprise. They are loved and adored. In this video we're going to focus on the group's transition from those days to now. But before that, let's have a quick background check of how they came to be the Four Tops we know now. The Four Tops began life in 1953, when all of the members were attending Detroit area high schools. Levi Stubbs and Abdul, Duke, Farker went to Pershing, and met Northern students Renaldo, Obi, Benson and Lawrence Payton at a friend's birthday party, where the quartet members first sang together. Sensing an immediate chemistry, they began rehearsing together and dubbed themselves the Four Aims. With the help of Peyton's songwriter cousin Roquel, Billy, Davis, the Ames signed to Chess Records in 1956, changing their name to the Four Tops to avoid confusion with the Ames brothers. Over the next seven years, it wasn't easy for them. They moved from Chess Records to Red Top to Riverside Records to even Columbia Records. They didn't lose focus but instead continued to polish their stage presence and marketing their brand. It is however, in 1963 that things started to look up. The legendary record and film producer Barry Gordy Jr. who had worked with Roquel, Billy, Davis as a songwriter in the late 1950s, convinced the Tops to join the roster of his growing Motown record company and the rest is history. It is worth noting that this success can be greatly attributed to the fact that they had a very talented group of three writers, Eddie Holland, Lamont Dozier, and Brian Holland. Before we go deep, kindly subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell to ensure you are among the first to get the facts whenever we upload. Over to the quartet. 1. Levi Stubbs. He was born on June 6, 1936. The deep-voiced was the most popular in the group as he was not only the lead vocalist, but also had arguably the most powerful voice in the industry. He has been noted for his powerful, emotional, dramatic style of singing. Stubbs also provided the voice of Audrey too, the man-eating plant in the film version of the musical, Little Shop of Horrors, in 1986. However, in October 17, 2008, at the age of 72 he died after a long series of illnesses including cancer, and a stroke that forced him to stop performing in 2000. He left behind a wife of 48 years and five children. 2. Ronaldo Obi, Benson. He was born on June 14, 1936 just eight days after Levi Stubbs. He was the bass singer of the group and continued to perform with for over five decades, until April 8, 2005 which was his last performance date on The Late Show with David Letterman. He died of lung cancer and other illnesses on July 1, 2005. His leg had been amputated earlier in 2005 due to circulation problems. He left behind two lovely daughters. Media coverage of Benson's death was almost completely overshadowed by that of another R&B star, Luther Vandross, who also died on the same day. 3. Lawrence Payton. He was born on March 2, 1938. In the group, he sang tenor. Payton is credited for the vocal arrangements and the smooth seamless harmony of the top sound. He also sang lead on several songs such as Feel Free and Until You Love Someone. In Stubbs' words on Payton's contribution he said, he did everything music-wise, he had a terrific ear, he was a terrific guy, perfect pitch, he just knew what he was doing, he was a genius. He was in the game for 43 years till his death on June 20, 1997, aged 59 from liver cancer. He left behind 11 children with one of his sons, Roquel joining the band just to continue Peyton's legacy. 4. Abdul, Duke, Farker. Born on December 26, 1935, Farker sang first tenor in the group and is the only surviving among the four tops originals. He still performs alongside Ronnie McNear, Lawrence, Roquel, Peyton Jr. son of original member Lawrence Peyton and Alexander Morris. He and his wife, the late Piper, were married 42 years at the time of her passing and together were blessed with seven children, and now seven grandchildren and one great-grandkid. What was your favorite song from the group? Please let us know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe, 